Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, there was a piece of news that ASML, the world's most powerful lithography machine manufacturer, plans to build a factory in China. Of course, this factory cannot be a lithography machine manufacturer. ASML will not put such a core factory in China, and the United States will not allow it to be put in China. The factory built by ASML in China is a maintenance center, and it is estimated that it will produce some less core accessories. After all, China has purchased too many ASML lithography machines, so of course it must serve Chinese customers well. According to ASML, ASML's fixed assets in China are currently as high as 72.7 million euros, about 570 million yuan, which is nearly doubled from 40.8 million euros in 2022. This asset actually refers to some factories, offices and other assets built in China. Why ASML wants to build a factory in China? Here is another data. In 2014, of ASML's 28.263 billion euros in revenue, mainland China contributed 10.195 billion euros, about 80 billion yuan, accounting for about 36.1% of the total revenue, ranking first. Then there are countries and regions such as South Korea, the United States, Taiwan, EMEA, and Japan, but these regions are far behind China. South Korea ranks second, and the proportion has dropped to 23%, while the United States ranks third, with a proportion of only 16%, less than half of mainland China. It can be seen that it is precisely because of the surge in purchases in the Chinese market that ASML's high revenue of 28.3 billion euros has been supported. If the revenue from the Chinese market is missing, ASML will directly lose one-third. So ASML dare not gamble, it must serve Chinese customers well. It is estimated that many people will say that China cannot develop advanced lithography machines at present, so ASML's lithography machines are indispensable. What is ASML afraid of? It doesn't worry about selling at all. Although ASML has a bumper harvest in 2024, ASML is a little panicked about 2025, because it is very likely that ASML's revenue in China will be reduced by 40 billion yuan in 2025 compared with 2024, which is equivalent to 20%. Data shows that in 2024, ASML's revenue from mainland China will be 10.195 billion euros, currently about 80 billion yuan, accounting for about 36.1% of the total revenue, ranking first. Then there are South Korea, the United States, Taiwan, EMEA, and Japan, but these countries and regions contribute much less revenue than mainland China. However, in 2025, ASML believes that the proportion of revenue contributed by mainland China will drop below 20%. If you calculate the data, you will know that it will be 36.1% in 2024 and below 20% 20 in 2025, which is equivalent to 50% less. ASML believes that its total revenue in 2025 may remain unchanged. This means that China may reduce its revenue by half. In 2024, it was 80 billion yuan, and in 2025, 
it would only be about 40 billion yuan, which is 40 billion yuan less. Why is China's contribution so much less? The reason is that the lithography machines purchased by China from ASML will be significantly reduced in 2025 and will not be as much as in 2024. In fact, in the past few years, China has been buying ASML's lithography machines crazily, about 20 billion in 2022, more than 60 billion in 2023, and more than 80 billion in 2024, more every year. The reason is that China has been frantically making chips in recent years, requiring a large number of lithography machines, and the ban is hanging high. So China's chip factories are also hoarding a large number of lithography machines and preparing in advance. At present, the progress of domestic lithography machines is very rapid. In 2024, China has exposed a domestic lithography machine with a light source of 193 nanometers and an overlay accuracy of 8 nanometers. As the technology progresses, such a lithography machine will definitely pose a major threat to ASML. As Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, said, only by supplying China with unlimited chips can Chinese companies not develop chips and import them from the United States, so that Chinese chips will always rely on the United States. Once the supply is cut off, China will be forced to develop its own chips and will not rely on the United States in the future. The reason is the same. If ASML does not supply lithography machines and does not provide services, then China will slowly develop its own research and development and finally will no longer rely on ASML's lithography machines and services. This is unacceptable to ASML and it dare not face it. So even if the advanced EUV lithography machine cannot be sold now, ASML should try to sell more DUV lithography machines and provide more services to avoid China's rapid self-sufficiency. In short, ASML has built a maintenance center in China to serve Chinese customers. The Chinese market accounts for 36.1% of ASML's revenue and is an important source of income. ASML needs to serve China well to prevent China from developing its own lithography machines and reduce its dependence.